But if you analyze his body language, you see Trump is a very affectionate, warm type of person. I'm Dr. Lillian Glass, and I'm a body language expert. A handshake can tell you everything about a person. The handshake with Abe is really interesting because it's a handshake that's very robust. Trump's trying to get a point across that, hey, we get along. I really like you. And Abe likes him. And you can tell this because Abe is leaning his body into Trump. His toes are pointed in Trump's direction. So he's enjoying it. He likes Trump. When you place your hand over someone else's hand, it's a really intense sign of affection that you really like the person. Because what you're doing is you're cupping them into you. You're touching them. You're feeling them. You're embracing them. Kind of like a hand hug. With May, he's very respectful. He grabs her hand, he, he engulfs it, and she, she looks at him, looks away. She's very formal. It's a handshake that shows that he doesn't know her that well, or you know, he doesn't have the same affection that he has towards the others. And he was straight up perpendicular in terms of his body language, which showed that he was neutral. He didn't lean in towards her one way or the other. He didn't lean away from her. So that speaks volumes as well. When you see Justin Trudeau, there's a very warm handshake and on both of their parts. And there's the placing of Justin Trudeau's hand on his arm, and that indicates friendship. And Trump did the same. So there was a mutual hug, in essence, a shoulder hug between both of them. When they're in the Oval Office, Justin Trudeau is leaning in towards Trump and really leaning in, which shows they really like each other. And the handshake seems to be firm on both of their parts. And when he's looking at his hand, he's just looking at Trump's hand. And it's not in a negative way. Anything can happen when a photograph is caught as a person is doing something. With his handshake with Obama, it's completely different. You can tell by Trump's facial expression. There's a lot of tension in his lips. He tightens his lips. And that means mm, there's some tension between us. You know, this isn't all warm and fuzzy. He also doesn't pull Obama towards him. He leans away from Obama, which is very interesting and un-Trump-like. Trump is also more guarded. He puts his hands together. When you look at Netanyahu in terms of how they communicate, Trump is very attentive. He looks right at him when he speaks. And um, you see that there's a lot of there's a lot of respect there. Trump brings his hand out first, and he brings Netanyahu towards him, which shows you know you, you literally, you know you're with me. And with the Supreme Court nominee, he pulled him towards him twice. That means you know hey I really like you, and it took him aback. Gorsuch is a Supreme court nominee so he does not want to show sides he wants to be professional and he doesn't want this affection uh publicly so he kept his arm at arm's length what you see is what you get if trump likes you you see it if he doesn't like you you see that as well